Hi, my name is Paula. It's a great big blessing to be with you at this time. Those of you who are viewing this program for the first time, you're welcome. We welcome you. You're viewing Feet in Five. Our scripture reading is taken from Book of Luke, chapters 19, reading from verses 28, straight on to verses 38. Let's hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to us in a time like this, for we need a word. Without a word from God, we cannot live. Amen. We need to be able to hear and know what God is speaking into our lives, into our spirit, into our being in the earth at this time. Let's go to the passage of scripture. It's very popular, all familiar, the triumphal entry. It's a continuation story, so we're going to read from that right now. Read with me. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethpage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives. He sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt. As you all know, that's referring to a young uh, a donkey or a young donkey. Tie there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Tell him, the Lord needs it. Say that with me. Say, the Lord needs it. Amen. I want to be able to minister to you right now to let you know that saying the Lord needs it is a saying you need it. For the Lord is standing with you and in you and whatever he has need of, you have need of also. That's what the scripture said. The scripture said the Lord needs it. Verse 32. Those who were, those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? Just like Jesus said would happen. They replied, verse 34, The Lord needs it. Amen. I tell you, beloved, you must say exactly what God tells you to say. That's the word of escape. That's the word for you. They brought it to Jesus, threw their clothes on the colt, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. Remember the scripture said they threw their cloaks on it first. Those who went to get the donkey. Remember that there's a word from you coming there. When he came near the place where the road goes down to the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Verse 38. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Now, this is what God is saying to us. Amen. Wow. This is what God is saying to us right now. Bethany means to you, brothers and sisters, house of figs. I want to say to you, house of figs means to you right, right now. Fruitfulness, bearing, blessings, produce. This is what is happening, that, that you're passing by Bethany. And this is what is going to happen to you right now. One instruction from Jesus will be as easy as receiving what is yours. Jesus gave them a simple uh, instruction. He said, go ahead of me. He said, go ahead now, I'm sending you. And he said, go and do this, do that. Get the cold. Amen. He said, he told them what to tell the people if anyone asks you, why are you untying that cold? Why are you touching that? One instruction, my friends. You are one instruction. It's simple. Just listen and obey. The blessing is yours. Your blessing is already tied to you. The colt was tied. Did you see what the story said? No one ever ridden that colt before. I came to serve you, notice, so let you know by way of the Spirit's power that that person for you that you are waiting on, be it marriage, be it business, be it finances, whatever it may be, that person that you are waiting on, no one has ever trespassed, crossed there, or touched that. God has preserved that for you. Amen. Your blessing is already tied to you. The colt was tied. It can't run away. Everything you need is ahead of you, not behind. He said, go on ahead. I, want, I came to let someone know that everything you need is ahead of you, not behind. Stop looking behind. Move straight ahead. That's what Jesus said. That's what the master said. Go ahead. As you enter, your belongings will be in place. The colt was in place. As they enter, the scripture said, the colt was there. There is something coming to you that no one has ever touched before. Amen, beloved. Something and or someone is held, bound, 
for you. Somebody is bound today and it's not bad. It's a good thing. They are bound in place waiting for you. God has your blessing tied with your name on it. Amen, somebody. Something and or someone is held bound for you and no one is unable to untie it but you only you will have the authorization to untie that heart. Amen. Those eyes, that person. Amen. No one will be able to stop you from taking what's yours. No one, no one. Saying the Lord needs this is saying you need this. The Lord is standing with you in this matter. Amen. Remember that. Remember that. You will find what you are looking for. Just as the Lord said you would. Remember he told them where they will find the coat. And he even said people will contest and ask you. Why are you touching that? Why are you taking this? And he gave them the exact words what to say. Amen. Your whole life will rest on God's promises. And he himself will be seated on it as king. What does that mean? Remember I told you. To remember the cloak when they threw the cloak on the colt on the on the donkey your cloak is your clothing that's your whole story your whole life is going to rest on that blessing and Jesus as king is sitting on it as long as you have him seated on the throne of your heart on the throne of your life it will be and remain and stay with you a blessing. Your whole life will rest on God's promises and he himself will be seated on it as king. And what will happen after that? All men will praise God with you when they see what he has done in your life. We have overstepped our time. Bye for now until we meet again. Be blessed.